Hi all. In today's session, we are going to see how we can prepare and clean the data using the industry's favorite tool, Microsoft Excel. So uh, to perform this exercise, uh, we had uh, downloaded a data set from Wikipedia, which is essentially the city-wise population. Uh, so the data uh, looks like this, where we have the uh, city name, the country to which it belongs to, and the population estimates. And the city definition, whether it's a municipality or a capital city or an autonomous city, and the corresponding population, area, etc. So this way we have different uh, columns having different data types starting from text to uh, numbers. And let's see how using Excel we can clean this data set. So as a part of today's exercise, we are going to cover how we can find and replace in Excel the surface point, then changing the data format of a particular column, removing extra spaces which might be there uh, within an Excel file using trim function. And uh, the next one, we are going to see how to identify if any of the cells are blank and remove those entire rows itself. And lastly, how to remove duplicate data. So to start with, let's see how we can find and replace. So in the given data set, we can see in column B, the country, that the term more has been added to all the uh, country names. So to remove this extra term, we can simply find and replace. So the shortcut to achieve the same is Control H. So the Control H opens up the dialog box where we can specify what should be found. For example, in our case, we have to specify uh, the search term, which we need to uh, find. We need to find uh, the word more within square brackets. And replacing it, I'm not going to replace with anything. The reason being, I just want this particular term to get deleted. So the moment I select replace all, so there were 81 replacements which were done. So essentially, as you can see, you now the countries have become clean. I had removed the term more. So in this way, find and replace is very helpful in identifying or specifying what should be replaced in place of the term we are searching for. Moving on next, changing the data format. So let's quickly jump to the column E. So this particular tab at the top specifies the date uh, or the data uh, type which the column belongs to. So as seen here, the city population area, everything is under general. So let's quickly change the data type to numbers for these columns from E to N, as I can see all of them are numbers. So let me quickly select the columns from E to N and change the data type to numbers. So as seen here, all the uh, numerical which are available in these columns, they got converted to number data type with up to two decimal places. So this way we can change the uh, data format as well with a simple click in Excel. Moving on next, we can remove extra spaces within the text terms. So as seen here, let's quickly look at column D. For city, there's a hyphen and there are some extra spaces before the word state. Similarly, if we look at uh, these two uh, values corresponding to row number 23 and 24, after the hyphen, there are some extra spaces. So we can simply remove the extra spaces using the trim function. Let me insert a new column and let me name it as trim column. And all I'm doing is specify the trim function, which is inbuilt in Excel. And I'm passing this particular parameter. So let me quickly drag and drop for the entire column. So as seen here, for this, for this particular entry, city space hyphen space extra spaces state now got converted to the single space. So in this way, trim function can be used to delete the unnecessary spaces in each of the cell values in Excel. Moving on, how to identify blank spaces or uh, blank cells in a particular Excel file and delete the entire row. So let's highlight the column D and let us find out what are all the blank cells in this particular column. 
So to achieve the same, let's go to find and select option, which is available in the uh, ribbon here and go to go to special. So in go to special, let's select the blanks. So the moment I select it, so as seen here, this particular blank in row number 20 got highlighted. And if I scroll down further, as seen here, uh, row number 65 to 67 and 670 are all highlighted because there are blank spaces present. Uh, so to delete them at one go, just right click on them and go to the delete option and select entire row. As seen, all the additional rows which are having a column D, uh, having a blank value are being deleted. So in this way, uh, using find and select go to special, we can identify the blank cells and delete the entire rows. And the uh, last one is to remove duplicates. Let's see, uh, let's take the uh, country column and copy it to a new sheet. So as seen here, uh, we'll, we are having duplicates in this particular column. Like for example, China is seen at multiple places. So we have a total count of 77 cell values. So all to remove the duplicates, simply select the column and go to the data tab. And in the data tab, we have the function called remove duplicates. Just select the remove duplicates for the country column. So there are 44 duplicate values which are found and removed. So totally 35 unique values remain. So that's how we can use Excel to remove the duplicates as well. So in this way, Excel can be used to clean the data uh, provided when the data size is small and the user has uh, good control uh, with these basic functionalities.